Hello, today I'll show you how to make grapple physics in Scratch. As you can see, this is grapple physics, and if I click, a grapple will appear, which will have a nice bouncy kind of effect. So let's get started. First, delete the cat and paint a sprite. Name it player. Now, Name the costume move, actually name it idle first, and make it a nice outline size, and make the fill a nice color. Something like this. And make sure to use the box tool. Now make it a nice size. And then use the line tool, make it a good size. Press shift and create a line. Now copy pastel it. Place both of them in the middle. Press shift, up arrow, and then left arrow, up, and then the other way. Now duplicate it, name it move. Select both of these and then press shift, right arrow a few times. Now, when green flag is clicked, create a few new variables named uh, named cam x for all for this for this sprite only cam y for this sprite only then player 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 x for this sprite only and then player y for this sprite only and then player speed for all sprites then grapple stat stat also for all sprites and then scroll x for all sprites and then scroll y for all sprites now click on this and then pen and then erase all then set cam cam x and cam y to zero set grapple stat to zero set player x and set play y to zero and then set player speed to 2. Now, set row station tile to left right and then go to 0 0. Then broadcast new message click, which will be for when clicked, the grapple thing will happen. Now, forever. Go to scroll x subtracted by cam x and then times negative one times negative one. Now duplicate this, place it in a y, replace everything but instead y so scroll y subtracted by cam y times negative one now change player y by negative one for gravity and then change scroll x by cam x subtracted by scroll x divided by five duplicate this scroll y cam y subtracted by scroll y divided by 5. Now, switch costume to idle if right arrow key right arrow pressed then change player x by player speed and also switch costume to move and point in direction 90. Duplicate this. 
left arrow pressed, player speed to times negative one, switch costume to move, point in direction negative 90, now, change x by player x, set player x, to player x times 0 0.8 now create a new block named collision run without screen refresh place it there and then in the collision block we will do repeat five times and then if but before that we create a new sprite named level or ground use the box tool make sure there is no outline and make the fill any color you want now and here just create a nice platform copy pastel it make it smallerish rotate it a bit place it here but if you don't want if you want it to be smaller like this duplicate this again duplicate place here maybe duplicate create a slope flip horizontally after you're done creating the level full screen by clicking the equal sign use the box tool make the fill and the outline nothing press shift and create a box now find where the box is and only it make it bigger and also make it have Color, place it in the middle and then make it have no color so now it's a very big box now going back to level we do when green flag is clicked we also go back to costumes create a costume named small and then use any tool well it may use the circle tool press shift Create a small circle, place it in the middle. Now, switch costume to small, set size to the size you want in case it's small, and then switch costume back to costume one. And, and then forever, go to scroll x times negative one scroll y times negative one now going back to player repeat five times if touching level change y by one change cam y also by one then if touching level then change cam y by negative 5 change y by negative 5 negative 5 then change x and by player x player x times negative 1 then change player x actually change cam x by player x times negative one then change y by player y if touching level then change y by player y times negative 1.
then set player y to zero and then change change y by one actually change y by negative one if touching level and then another and also uh, and if touching level and key up arrow pressed then set player y by 13 now and then lastly change y by 1 now back up here we do change x change cam x and cam y by player x and player y then uh, lastly if scroll y scroll y is less than 200 negative 200 then set cam x set cam y set player x set player y all to zero now if you test it as you can see you have this nice platform with this and it has a nice scroll effect and you can also adjust the size to your liking like this would be a more smaller testing place or like a in between like this and if you want you can add a floating platform somewhere like here now let's create the main grapple part create a new sprite named point use the circle tool press shift and create a circle make sure it's three by three exactly and name it point then use the circle I mean use the box tool make sure there is no outline and no fill and drag out a box like this now after this go back to player when I receive click then forever if mouse down then a if else if else equals zero so grapple stat equals zero set grapple stat to one else set it to zero then broadcast grapple new message grapple then wait until not mouse down not mouse down now after this we go back to point now when green flag is clicked set ghost to 100 make sure that it shows and then when I when I receive grapple then we do an if grapple stat equals one which is on then wait zero seconds and then create a new block named get place which find where the farthest distance of the mouse place is or it just goes in the direction of the mouse until it hits something and then a forever go to we create two new variables called point x for this sprite only and then point y for this sprite only and then scroll x subtracted by 
point x times negative 1 and then same for the y so scroll y scroll scroll y and then point y now in the get place block we will do show then switch costume never mind switch costume to point go to player point in direction mouse pointer repeat until touching edge or touching edge or touching level then move by five then set point x to x position plus scroll x and then point y would be y position plus scroll y then create a clone of myself now when i start as a clone go to front which doesn't really matter if you want actually we don't need that repeat until grapple stat equals grapple stat equals zero erase all go to player player pen down pen down go to point which we need to go to player and then go to point drag it into point and now we have a legal block point go to point which is going to itself and then pen up and then erase all at the end and then delete this clone now going back to player we first do when I receive grapple we do forever if grapple stat equals one equals one then we change change player x by direction the sin of direction duplicate this change player y and then the cos of direction and then point towards points now if you test it click on somewhere oh yeah and also make sure to change this to also a times two so it overcomes the gravity now if you test it as you can see now you have grapple physics thank you for watching and have a fantastic day